Welcome back guys. So today, not only do I like learning tricks on my skateboard, I also like learning tricks of my 2017 Ford Raptor truck that I want to share with you guys. So buckle up and stick around for the third one because it's my absolute favorite and it's completely hidden in plain sight. 13th generation F-150. This includes the King Ranch, the Lariat, FX4, many of the other submodels, but it's mostly if you have a 2015 through 2020, I believe. 2015 through 2020 F-150, you might have some of these hidden features. These are some of my favorites inside of here. To me, this is one of the coolest features about the F-150, and this is not just the Raptors, it's the King Ranch, the Lariat, the FX. But if you have the screen in your truck, don't press the brake, press the gas, or the start button. Yeah, hit the gas. You're going to hit eject and right. Just press and hold them. It'll take it about 30 seconds, and you'll see the secret menu come up. There we go, hit end test. Then you're gonna go to test settings. In here, you can change the splash screen, and this is one of the coolest things to me. So we've got Shelby. I haven't updated mine, so it's a little bit laggy. Just wow. download the free Upside app. Change the color and everything, that's pretty cool. So, we can start it and let's see what comes up on the splash screen. I mean, we didn't see a splash screen change, but that's still pretty nifty. So, now with the running, we'll shut it off. to reset it oh snap <laughs> and we're in a Ford Raptor so that's not stock just for clarification we're gonna test this one more time no foot on the brake hit the button let's see what comes up The unfortunate thing with doing this process is it always comes back to the original. So if you didn't have a Raptor or Shelby GT350, unfortunately it'll just go back to it. If you guys know how to change it permanently, you know, up to the user, let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to know for other people and for my own sake, because sometimes I like the GT350, it's pretty cool looking. So here is the sound it makes before using Forescan to fix the issue. So with the truck running, now thanks to Forescan, we were able to get rid of the double honk. So much better. At the top right, I'll link in the description here a video of how I use Forescan and get into it and how to use Forescan. It's a free program. The tool is like $20 or $30 on Amazon, but definitely check out this video if you're interested in using Forescan to enable some of these hidden features that's already built into your truck. If you come inside your truck, you should have one of three memory seat settings. I'm the only driver of this vehicle, so I always set it to one, but sometimes you're married or you have ch kids, teenagers who drive too. So we're gonna set this all the way forward. We're gonna mess up the steering wheel too. These memory settings control these, we'll also adjust the pedals, just to show them in a different position. They also control the mirrors on each side, but we're gonna go ahead and set three, listen for the beep. So, with that being said, you hit one, goes back to my setting. If we hit three, goes back to the jacked up setting. One of the things you can do here, it's really cool, and I learned this from Ask Jorge Lopez at Tomball Ford, is you can set an association of your memory seat setting to your key fob. This is pretty cool. All right, with our messed up seating position here, seats forward, pedals in, steering wheel's too far down, we're gonna press one. Let it go back to its correct seat position, my favorite spot. Just gonna wait for it here. Steering wheel goes back up, pedals are gonna come back out. And what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna hit one and we're gonna hold it. You're gonna hear two beeps, so wait for the second beep.
then you're gonna hit lock. And that should save the memory setting there. So to test it, we'll hit three. So it goes back to jacked up, steering wheel down, seat forward, pedals in. There go the pedals. And when we hit one or hit unlock, it should go back to number one. There we go. Seats going back. Steering wheel up. Pedals come back out. And that's how you set your memory to your key fob. Thanks, Jorge Lopez at Tom Paul Ford. So whether you use your truck for work, play, a daily driver, or it's a pavement queen kind of thing, some of these features can be useful to you, or if you just find them nifty and you're into some of the tech gadget stuff about these trucks, there's a lot of features that are not exactly promoted by Ford, and I'll help you guys discover them if you stick around on this channel. I'm also gonna link in the description down below a playlist of all of my favorite things that I've found with my truck so far, because clearly I play with it, I enjoy it, and it's my daily driver. So thank you guys so much for watching, and stick around for the next one.